How do we lead courageously? Stay tuned for some ways we can set our mindset to lead with courage. Welcome back, and congratulations on taking one more step towards becoming one of the great leaders of tomorrow. Our theme this month has been courageous leadership, and today we're going to talk about how to develop a courageous mindset. Leadership traits like courage can be taught and learned, but it takes time and effort. And today we'll talk about ways to get our mind right so that we can continue to act as courageous leaders now and into the future. Here at Evil Genius Leadership, we talk a lot about getting in the right mindset, whether that's for solving a problem or giving a presentation. Building a mindset to act courageously every day can help us build those muscles for when we need them the most. Here are some tips to focus on for the next time you are in a situation where you need to act courageously. First, remember the mission. What is it you're trying to accomplish? Who are you trying to accomplish it for? And why is it important? Keeping these in mind will help us make the right choice to get the mission done, even if we know it will be unpopular with our team. Core values, your own and your organization's core values. Keeping these in mind will help you evaluate potential solutions to make sure they're in line with values and not just expedient. Intellectual honesty. We talked about this last week where it's important to recognize our biases and consider all the relevant facts, not just the ones that support our position. Both intellectual honesty and core values need to be assessed when we act. Only considering one or the other can lead to us to take actions that cause bigger problems, compromise our values, or both. And remember, part of intellectual honesty is giving credit to others for their good work, so remember to recognize people for their contributions. Finally, treat others with respect and dignity. Acting courageously means letting others be heard without judgment until all of the facts are in. Excluding someone's perspective because they're not one of us or alienating them because of their opinion can shut down our team members from bringing forth important information. This was a short one today, but I don't want to give you the impression that building a courageous mindset or acting with courage is easy. It takes a long time to build good habits and solid leadership traits, and finding ways to remind ourselves how to act with courage is key. You may want to put some of these tips up in your work area to remind yourself of them, or do some self-reflection on how well you're exhibiting these traits and write about it in your leader's journal. No matter which way you choose, it's important to keep acting with courage. If you found this helpful, don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and join us every Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific time for a live interactive leadership discussion on Blab. Click off on that globe to the right. That'll get you subscribed to our email list and that'll bring all of our content direct to your inbox. Thanks for watching today. I really appreciate it. And remember, the future is out there. Lead the way.